check in with everyone. How is everyone feeling today? Are there any it's I'm completely pooped. All right. Starting out pooped is a good good call. <laughs> well, no, I just got done working outside because I've been painting. And yeah, all right, that's fine. Let's get ready to do a little boxing-esque workout. <laughs> yeah, and Jorge is back for more, I guess, so. Jorge? Uh, one of my buddies who worked out with me earlier today. Can I yeah, meet this Jorge I, person? I have nothing else to do. All right, got nothing else to do, so let's work out some more. <laughs> All right, so uh, everyone's feeling good. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, today's workout, we're gonna be going through our warm up practice round in that order. I'm not gonna get a flip this time. We're gonna go through our five exercises today. Uh, we're gonna be doing some machine gun rows, machine gun over, overhead presses. So this just means that we're gonna be doing fast. You're gonna need two, uh, a pair of weights. So one in each hand so that you can go quick with these. Uh, so we're going to be doing quick rows and quick overhead presses. Uh, but the key thing here is you got to move well. And this, you're also going to want to play around with your weights a bit because you're not going to be able to move the same amount of weight that you typically would be with overhead presses and rows uh, in our, compared to our other workouts. We're going to be doing some jump rope or split ropes. So if you have... You jump rope or your two towels with knots tied on to one end. You're gonna need those. Hope you guys got those ready. If not, grab your towels real quick and tie a knot on one end for each of them. Uh, and then we're gonna do some shadow boxing. Uh, we're gonna go over some uh, particular different kinds of punches and different uh, evasion drills. Uh, this one you're gonna have to pay attention a little bit because I'm gonna give you cues during that one minute that we're gonna be doing shadow boxing. And then we're gonna finish with some single arm lateral raises. Uh, just work the shoulders a little bit more, make you tired. Uh, you can see, I'm gonna just beat the heck out of my shoulders this week. <laughs> and yeah, so any questions before we get into our warm up? Yes. All right, shoot. Do I have time to go get an actual jump rope because I have one outside? All right, go grab it. Yeah, we'll just be getting started with our warm up and then hop in when you're ready, okay? So let's mute you guys. And then let's get to it. So if you're gonna be performing this workout primarily in standing, start in standing. If you're gonna be performing this workout primarily in seated, start in seated. So let's start with some belly breathing. Put your hands on your belly. Inhale and then exhale. On your inhales, your belly should rise up and out away from you. Not just forward though, but also out to the sides. Think about just expanding your whole lower torso on your inhales. Think about trying to fill a big barrel. That breathing is gonna be really important. Uh, I always put a big emphasis on br the breath. It's one of those things. If you can't breathe in some, while you're doing something, you won't survive there for very long. So bring that focus to your breathing. It also is a grounding technique. You ever practice meditation? This is a common thing that's taught in meditation classes. This is belly breathing. And now trying to remember what that feels like to be breathing through your belly. We're gonna to start to move your arms up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Maybe do a little squat if you're in standing. Do the largest motion that you have available to you. Next, we're gonna add in some gentle twists going from side to side. And as you twist, I want you to turn your head as well. Try to look as far behind you as you can. One side to side. 
Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. So you inhale as you return to your midline position. You exhale as you go into the twist. Inhale on the way back. Exhale, go into the twist, alternating sides. Nice and easy. We're gonna be moving quick during this workout, so our warm up will be slow. All right, and then we're gonna do some side bending. Bring your arms around and back. Doing a little squat if you're standing. Doing a full revolution one way and then a full revolution the other way. Work on opening yourself up. Good. All right. And then let's add in some side bends in your neck. And then start to side bend in your torso. Going all the way to one side, reaching your hand as far down your side as you can, bending your torso and your head. Working in this lateral side bending motion. All right, and let's do some jumping jacks. Bring your arms up and overhead. Feet are hopping apart and together. If the hopping doesn't feel good, if it feels unstable, you can just simply do the arms portion. Make sure that you reach up and then bring your arms forcefully down by your side. And use the range of motion that feels most appropriate for you. If a shorter range of motion, maybe bending your arms feels better, that's fine. If the large amplitude motion feels good, go for that one. And same thing in seated, bring the arms up overhead and slam them down. Playing around with the degree of your arm bend and the height of your shoulders. If the shorter arm motion and the arm bend feels better for you, go with that one. If the large amplitude movement feels better, go with that one. Good. Good, keep it going. And let's transition to split jacks. The feet come apart in a hopping split stance, forward and back. Arms are coming forward and back. If the hopping part doesn't feel good, you're simply doing back slappers. Opening up the front of your chest. Same thing in seated. Good. Keep it going. Five. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna do a little bit of jogging too. Jogging in place. Pumping your arms, elbows bent at 90. And seated, we're just doing these 99 arm pumps. And let's bring it up the pace a little bit. You're going for a nice run. And bring it down to a slow jog. And then we're gonna do a sprint. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Straight, fast, 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 fast. Move your feet, move your arm as fast as you can. Three, two, one. So now do a nice easy job. And then we're gonna go into our second sprint. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Straight, move your arm, move your feet as fast as you can. Fast, 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 fast. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. And slow. We're gonna do one more sprint. There you go in five, four, three, two, one, go. One more, all out. Let's go. Move fast, move fast, move fast. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Three, two, one, done. All right. So your heart rate should be up from that one. Uh, who here feels warmed up and ready to rock and roll? And I see some thumbs up. I see some hand raises. Good. All right. So let's get into the practice round here. For our 
Machine gun rows. You're going to want to pick out a weight that feels appropriate for you. Uh, you can use textbooks, you can use dumbbells, whatever you have available to you. And what we're going to do, we're going to go into a bent over position. And from here, you're going to pull to your hip on one arm, the other arm is straight. And then you're going to alternate as you straighten out uh, your top arm, your uh, other arm is going to start to bend towards the other hip. So you switch positions, just like so. So I'm alternating the rows here. And once you feel comfortable with this, you start to move as quickly as you can. Make sure that you're doing this coordinated though. As you move faster, it, your arms might start doing some funky things. You want to try to figure out what's that speed where you can still move fast, but still move well without moving funky. There you go. Let's play around with the bent, with the machine gun rows. Uh, and seated, we simply do the same thing. You're going to hinge forward, flat back, grabbing hold of whatever weight you're using. And then you're going to pull and alternate that, that row. Oops. And like I said, you got to be aware of your surroundings and your movement. Make sure you're not doing anything funky. And then find that. Uh, rate and rhythm that allows you to move well without moving weird. All right. How are you feeling with the machine gun row? Good? Found good weights for that? All right, good. Let's move on. So the next one is going to be the machine gun overhead press. So for this one, you're going to take your, your weights. And this is basically going to be the same thing for seated and standing athletes. And you're going to start with one arm straight. So right now my right arm is straightened over my head, lifting up, holding a book. And then from here, I'm going to switch my arms. Going back and forth. Key thing here, keep your elbows pointed forward as best as you can. <clears throat> don't let them flare out. Uh, we don't want to be doing some chicken wing presses here. But we want to move quick and under control. If you notice that this motion doesn't feel particularly good to move quick with, that's fine. You can take away the books and just move slow and alternating, working a smooth motion here. Alternating that way. All right, so you play around with it. Find the weights and rhythm that feels best for you. All right, do we feel good with the Machine gun overhead press. I see thumbs up. Yeah, good job, Pavel. Do as much as you can with that uh, right arm. Good, all right. So, ready to move on? All right, let's move on to the jump or split rope. So, I'm not gonna be using a jump rope today. I'm gonna be using split ropes, so. If you are using a jump rope, use that. If you're going to be using the split ropes, you got your two towels with the knot tied in to the end. And then from here, we're going to twirl those towels around, jump rope. And standing, if you're doing this in standing and the jumping doesn't fit good, you can simply stand in place, maybe add a little bounce in your hips, in your hips and knees as you're doing this. Get as close to jumping as you can without actually jumping. And seated. We're going to be using the split ropes, so the jump rope won't work for that. And we're going to spin. And as you're going around with the split rope or the jump rope, once you get tired or you lose your rhythm going one direction, reverse it. Going the other way. If you're able to go a full round going just one direction for one minute, no problem. The next round, reverse your direction. All right. Good. Any questions on the jump or split rope? You doing good? All right. Let's move on. Next one is going to be shadow boxing. So I'm going to go over some movements and commands here. So this part, we're going to be learning a little bit. So what I'm going to have you guys do is assume a fight stance. Hands in front, put your dupes up. And so key thing here, especially for our people in standing, is I want you to be constantly moving from one foot 
to the other as we're doing this. This is a constant. From one side to the other, you're never standing still. All right, and there's a little bit of a bob here to your movement. All right, now, first movement, oh, and then for our seated athletes, I want you constantly do a little bob, shifting side to side in your chair. Keeping your hands up, all right? So, as we're moving here, we're bobbing side to side. The first movement is a dip, or uh, is a dip, or uh, shoot, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, a slip, there we go, slip is the word I'm looking for. So a slip, so if we're gonna slip right, we're gonna slip with our right hand covering our face and squatting down, get low. It's like you're dodging a punch coming to your head. Slip right, and then slip left. Slip right, cover your, your right, the right side of your face with your right hand. Slip left, you're squatting down, and you're covering the left side of your face with your left hand. Slip right, slip left. And then once we, we're done with the slip, you go back into your bob. Slip right, slip right left. And then get back into it. Same thing in seated. Bobbing back and forth, slip right, bobbing, slip left. So that's the slip. I'm gonna give you a call, slip right or left as we go along with the shadow boxing. And then the other thing that we're gonna be doing is a jab. So a jab is just a quick straight punch, going forward and back. So if I'm gonna jab right, we jab right, and that's jab right one. So jab right one is one jab, jab right two is two jabs, one, two. Jab right three is three jabs, one, two, three. Jab left one, jab left two, jab left three. All right, good, so that's the jab. And then we're gonna have a hook. A hook is coming more in this horizontal sideways motion. This is the big haymaker that people like to throw. So hook right, coming across, and then bring it back in, hands up, covering your face. Hook right, one, hook right one, hook right two, one, two. Hook left two, one, two. Hook left one, boom, one. And then you get back into your bob. All right, so these are gonna be the three uh, commands that I give during the shadow boxing. So we have slip right, slip left, jab one, or jab right one, jab left two, and then hook right two, hook left one. And then you're constantly bobbing back and forth. All right. We're going to do that for a minute uh, during each round. Doing good with that? All right. And if you mess up, no one really cares. So just keep moving. And if I mess up, everyone's going to know. All right. So let's move on. The last one is going to be a single arm lateral raise. So for this one, you're going to need a moderate weight, weight foot or weight. And we're simply raising that weight up to the side, just like so. You can do this in seated or standing. Now, if this long lever motion doesn't feel good, you can always shorten your lever. Come here, have your elbow bent as we perform those lateral raises. All right, and make sure you test it out both sides, get a sense for how it feels. One side might feel different from the other. And try to work each side as best as you can. All right. So that's the single arm lateral raise. We're gonna spend 30 seconds on each side on that one and then we'll switch halfway. All right, how are we doing? Are we ready to get started? Any questions before we get going? No, we ready to rock and roll? All right, let's do it. Let's grab your, your moderate medium weights and get ready for our machine gun rows followed by machine gun overhead press. All right. And let me grab my timer. And pull up the stopwatch. And let's get started in five, four, three, two, one. Go. We're going to be doing machine gun rows. Bend over. Keep your back flat as best you can. Chest is wide. And Go, pull, 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 quick, quick. Yeah, weights don't feel good. You can simply be back forward. Pull, 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 no weights. Moving your arms back and forth. Move those elbows back behind you as best as you can. There you go. 
And let's move. You'll notice that the faster you move, your core now has to engage a lot quicker and a lot more forcefully. And that's why I picked the machine gun rows. Good, keep it up, keep going. Plus, every once in a while it's fun to do something different, like boxing. 10 seconds, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Shake it out a little bit before we get into those overhead presses. All right, and get into it. Overhead press. There we go. Good. And remember, you can take breaks here. If you've gone for like 10, 15 seconds and it's just already starting to poop out on you, shake it out a little bit. Your energy systems might be running out, and that's fine. This means that you're not used to moving that quick for that long yet. There you go. Keep your elbows forward. Don't let your elbows flare out. Good. Keep it up. And remember, you can stop, shake it out a little bit. This is gonna be one of the more intensive exercises. So you can definitely take a break at any point, shake it out. Keep going though. Good, almost there. 10 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Done, shake it out. Grab your jump ropes or your split ropes. And let's spin. Keep going. Good. Keep your chest up. Sometimes it can be really easy as we're doing these uh, jumping rope or split rope things to start to hinge for to lean forward. I want your chest up and proud. Be bouncy if you're adding the hop in. And remember, reverse it if you stop during uh, this session. Good, keep it up, keep moving. Almost there, you guys. Five, four, three, two, one, done. All right, next one, it's gonna be the shadow boxing. So, start your bob. Side to side, good. Side to side, bob. Slip right, good. Bobbing, side to side, slip left. Bobbing side to side, jab right one. Good, bobbing side to side. Left hook one, good. Bobbing side to side, slip right, good. Keep going. Jab left two, good. Keep moving. Bobbing side to side, we're halfway there. Good, hook right two. Good, slip left, slip right, slip left. Jab right, one. Keep going, keep moving. Slip right, jab left two. Good, hook left one. Hook right one, slip left. Good, done. All right, next are gonna be your lateral raises. Picking your weight, raising up to the side, and back down. Make sure you keep your chest wide on this one. Again, some people tend to deviate forward as they do this, or they poke their head forward. Try to keep yourself in a neutral spine position as possible. Breathe, slow yourself down a little bit. Good, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Raise up to the side and lower down. Raise up to the side and lower down. Keeping yourself as upright and good posture as you can. Keep breathing. Focus that breath on the belly. Good, less than 10 seconds left. Nice smooth movements. Four, three, two, one. Done, all right, end of round one. All right, good work, good work, good work, good work, good work. So on you guys. All right, how was that? How was round one? Good, did anyone uh, have any issues with transitions or any of the exercises? The last one we did was kind of strain, it's on my shoulder, but. The lateral raises? Yeah. 
All right, so things you can do, uh, you can lighten the load or you can shorten your arm. So going from a long arm like this to a short arm. Did you try that? Okay, I can try that. Yeah. That actually feels a lot better. Yeah, so that's the modification that you can make for this exercise. Just shorten up the levers here, and that can feel better. Also, it makes your rotator cuff work a little bit more. All right, good. That was rough. What was that? I was just saying that was rough, but in a good way. All right, good. <laughs> Let's get started. Grab your weights. We're going to get going in five, four, three, two, one. Machine gun rows. Go. Move, 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 move. The more you hinge forward, the more it's going to challenge your core. Pull. Quick. Your torso is going to have to fight the rotation forces that are acting on it from your arms. And that's what's going to make your abdominals engage quickly. Anticipatory reactions is what we call that. Keep it going. Keep moving. Keep breathing. 20 seconds left. Keep going. Grab those elbows back. Grab your elbows back. Almost there. 10 seconds left. Keep going. Five. Four, three, two, one, done. Machine gun overhead press. You can shake out your arms before you get into this one. But when you're ready, go. Key thing here, keep your elbows forward. Don't let your elbows flare out as you're doing this. Elbows forward, optimize your shoulder position. And again, you can vary your rhythm and your weight. So if moving quick does not feel good, Move slow. Just continue with this alternating movement. But if moving quick feels good, move quick. Keep going. Keep breathing. We're past the 30 second mark. Keep it up, you guys. Keep going. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds. Good, five. Four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Shake out your shoulders a little bit. Shake them real good. And grab your jump ropes, grab your split ropes, and spin. Keep it going. Oh, the split rope might feel good with the wind that blows on you from all the spinning. Keep going, keep breathing. And remember, you can always take a break if your shoulders are feeling fatigued or if you just need a breather, but then get back into it. Keep going. Keep your chest up. Try not to let yourself crouch down. Good. Almost there, 15 seconds left. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, done. Shake out your shoulders. Get ready for some shadow boxing. So remember, hands up, cover, check your head, bob in side to side. Good. Moving from side to side, get a nice steady rhythm. All right. Slip left. Slip right. Jab right two. Jab left one. Hook left one. Slip left. Slip right. Slip left. Slip right. Jab one. Right. Jab right two. Jab left two. Good. Hook right one. Hook right two. Hook left two. Slip right. Slip left. And five. Keep going. Breathe. Slip left. Slip right. Jab right one. Jab right two. Jab right two. Jab right two. Jab left two. Good. All right. And let's finish up with the single arm lateral raises. Take your weight. Oh, I got two books. And raise up to the side. There are our variations. I feel better to bend your elbow, shortening your lever arm putting yourself in a position where your rotator cuff can activate a little bit more. 
Keep going. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. All right. Work in the other side. Lift up as far as you can. Work on good posture here, slowing things down a little bit. Good. Nice steady movement. Keep it going. We've got 10 seconds left. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right. End of round two. All right. How are we doing? All right. Um, any issues with the, the punches that we're throwing or the quick movements that we're doing? I just forgot all about those moves that I was doing because I used to do box. So I forgot like all of those moves. And oh, like, man. Yeah. I'm, sc I'm screwing it up so badly right now. <laughs> Don't worry. Most people do uh, when it's your first time back. I remember when I first started taking Muay Thai classes, I was all over the place. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you have any experience boxing, uh, this can definitely be helpful. But if you haven't been boxing in a while, eh, you might as well start over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get uh, started again. Let's get ready for those machine gun rows. Grab your weights and let's get ready in five, four, three, two, one, go. Pull, 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 pull. Bring your elbows back. Bring them behind you as fast and as forcefully as you can. Shove your elbows behind you. Quickly. Move fast. Get your arms all the way straight at the bottom. And then pull quickly again. That quick movement. You're going to activate your core. Remember, straighten your arms at the bottom. Fully extend your elbows. And then pull straight back. There we go. Keep it going. Pull those arms back still. Elbows behind you. Keep it going. Keep your back straight. Keep your chest up. Keep your chest wide. Keep pulling. Elbows behind. Let's go. Let's move. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. Shake out your shoulders a little bit. Shake them out. Flap them around. And when you feel ready, get into the machine gun overhead press. Elbows stay pointed forward on these. Move at a pace that feels good to you. If you can move quick, move quick. If moving quick doesn't feel good, move slow. But keep this alternating movement. Good. If you feel like the weight is starting to become a little bit much, you can always lessen the load. All right, keep it going. Keep breathing. Almost there. Remember, you can take breaks whenever you need. You can shake out your arms if you're starting to burn. Keep your elbows in as best as you can. And then once you feel ready, get back into it. We got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Woo! Put those weights to the side. Shake out your shoulders a little bit. All right. And then when you're ready, get into the split ropes. And let's twirl. Give it up. Let's move. Keep breathing. Try to make your breathing as controlled as possible. If it's quick and forced, you want to slow it down. And if you're feeling a little gas, you can always shake out your shoulders a little bit, shake it out, then get back into it. Go in reverse direction as you stop. Let's move. Let's keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Put your jump rope, split ropes to the side, and shadow box. Start with your bob. Going side to side, shift your way from one foot to the other, from one side of your chair to the other. Be bobbing. And slip right. Slip left. Jab right one, jab left two, slip right, slip right, slip left, jab left one, slip left, 
Jab right two. Slip left. Slip right. Hook right one. Hook left two. Good. Slip right. Hook right two. Slip left. Jab left two. Good. Slip left. Slip right. Slip right. Jab right one. Jab right two. Jab left two. Slip left. Slip right. Slip right. Slip left. Jab right one. Hook your left two. Good. Slip left. Done. All right. Finish up with the single arm lateral raise. Woo. Slow yourself down a little bit here. I know I'm getting very, very energetic and energized right now. Oh, this is a time where you can finally get some peace and quiet maybe from all my nonsense. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Focus on a nice, smooth, controlled movement. Movement under control. Nice, easy belly breathing. Good. Making those modifications as you need. Bending your elbow, lightening the load. Keep it up, 10 seconds left. <sighs> Keep breathing. Three, two, one, 10. Woo. Solid, 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 solid. All right, how are we doing? I don't wanna do that boxing thing anymore. You don't wanna do boxing anymore? Else. <laughs> is it strenuous on your shoulder it's the i'm just had such a long day at work but it's the thinking like i just don't want to have to think that okay hard. then what you can do is you can you can freestyle on your own okay yeah <laughs> thank you. you you can you don't have to listen to me you can do whatever feels good to you i've been yelled at all day oh, okay yeah 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 maybe the boxing is the the right solution for you okay thank you yeah definitely yeah if, like I said, at any point, you can modify these workouts to fit whatever you need to do, even if that means muting me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Let's get back into it for the machine gun rows. All right, and let's get started in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, hold quick, hold fast. Make sure your arms are fully straight at the bottom, and then Fully bent at the top. Fully straight, fully bent. As you alternate and pull quick. Your elbows come straight back. Keep going. Keep breathing. And keep up a steady rhythm. If you're slowing down, that's fine. Just make sure you're working good form. Your elbows are fully straight at the bottom and you pull them straight back as you raise them up to the top. Keep going. Keep breathing. We got less than 15 seconds left. Oh boy, I'm sweating all over the floor here. Keep going. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Shake out your shoulders a little bit. And then get into those machine gun overhead presses. There we go. And remember, you can always lighten your load. You can always get rid of the load. Make sure your elbows stay pointed forward. Avoid letting them flare outwards. Keep them right in line here as you move. Good consistent movement. Work on a steady rhythm. If faster feels good, go faster. If faster doesn't feel good, go slower. Keep a steady rhythm though. Keep breathing. Nice, easy, well maybe not easy, but nice con consistent breathing. Good, keep it up, keep moving. Less than 15 seconds left. Let's go. It is five, four, three, two, one. Done. Split ropes, jump ropes, all the ropes. Spin. All right, keep it up, keep moving. Work that consistent, steady motion. Keep breathing. In through your nose, 
Up through your mouth, see if it feels good. Good, Woo. shake it out if you need. Reverse it if you stop. Keep going. Nice steady breath. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Good. All right, shadow boxing. We're going to start with our bob. And remember, it doesn't really matter what I say. You can follow me if you want. You can do whatever freestyle you want after if that feels better to you. All right, bottom side to side. Slip right, slip left, slip right, slip left. Jab right one, jab right two. Oh, I did the other opposite. See, even I mess up. Good, hook right one, hook left two. Good, slip right, slip left. Jab left two, jab right two, slip left, slip right, slip right, jab right one, slip left, jab left one, good, hook right one, hook left two, good, slip left one, Whoop. that one doesn't work, I'm getting tired too, oh boy, all right, slip right, slip left, jab right one, jab right two, jab left two, Good, where are we at? Keep bobbing, keep dipping. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, lateral raise. I need to slow it down too. Oh my lord. This is why boxing coaches don't actually work out during the workouts. They're just yelling the whole time, not doing anything else. So always you can't think after a while. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Slow down your breathing. Good. Smoothing it out. Nice, easy breaths, upright posture. Shorten your lever arm if it feels better. Good, three, two, one. Done. All right. Good work, you guys. All right. All right. What are we at? Is that round three or four? I, I already forgot. That was round four, right? Yep. All right. So. Hey, Brent. Yeah. I got to cut out in two minutes. Okay. Well. I'm going to actually get acupuncture and cupping. So. Oh, boy. Yeah, these things. Do yeah, those things. Yeah. All right. Well. Tell me how it goes. Stick like with no, for as good. long as you can, Deb, and whenever you got to cut up, you can cut out. Okay, maybe one more round. Yeah, and then I'll stick needles in you. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and grab your light weights. Let's get ready for our last round here. Fifth and final round. Finish them. There we go, Ian. There we go. All right. We're lucky I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Get started in five, four. Three, two, one, go. Machine gun row. Go, pull, 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 pull. Make sure your arm is fully extended at the bottom, and then you pull your elbow straight back at the top. Straighten out those elbows at the bottom, then move quick. Maintain a nice steady rhythm. Good, keep it up. Keep moving. Keep breathing, we're halfway there. 30 seconds have gone through. Keep going. Good. Almost there. Keep moving. Make sure your elbows are still straightening out. Make sure your spine is still straight. Chest up, chest broad. Don't slouch. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. I'll shake out your shoulders if you need. And then when you feel ready, get into your machine gun and overhead presses. All right, let's get to it. Go. Bye, Dad. Keep going. Keep breathing. Good, consistent movement here. Keep it up. 
Keep those elbows straight. Point it in front. Avoid flying them out if you can. Stop and take rest breaks if you need. You can shake up your shoulders if you're feeling too much of a burn. Good. 20 seconds left. Shake it out for a little bit if you need, and then get back into it. Keep moving. Good. Almost there. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. All right. Jump rope, split rope. Go. <laughs> I have a love and hate relationship with this. I love it because it fans me and cools me off. I hate it because it burns my forearms. Keep it going. Keep breathing. And if you feel tired, you can shake it out for a little bit and then reverse your direction. Keep it up. Keep going. Doing good, you guys. Home stretch. Good, 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, boy. All right, throw your ropes to the side and shake out your shoulders and then shadow box. Bob side to side. All right. Jab right two, jab left two, slip right, slip right, slip left, jab left one, hook left one, slip left, hook right one, jab right two, slip left, slip right, slip left, jab right one, good, hook left two, hook right two, slip right, slip left, slip right, to left, jab right two, jab left two, jab right two, jab left two, slip right, slip left, slip right, slip left, hook right one, hook right one, hook left two, slip right, slip left, slip right, slip left, slip right, jab right one, jab left two, slip left, and five. All right, good. Done with those. Last set, last one. Thing alarm, lateral raises. Woo! Uh, good. Now, make sure you don't get super lazy on these ones. We're all, we're pretty much done. We're, we're tired, but still focus on making these good reps. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms. Good. Really focus on good, clean motion. Bend your elbows if you need. Keep your chest up. Easy breathing. Good. Keep it up, you guys. 10, less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Great work. You are all on your way to being world-renowned boxing champions. Unmute you guys. All right, who, who had fun today? Good, all right. So I'm glad you guys had fun with that. I had fun with it. Um, definitely it's nice to change things up a little bit. How uh, are you not dead yet? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I might be dead in a little bit. So if you don't hear from me, you know what happened. <laughs> Today. Does, does anyone have any questions on what we covered today? No, no, but I like the boxing. All right, good. It was fun, yeah. It's a nice yeah. fun change up. It brought, oh, back, it brought back some good memories. For you guys every once in a while. Now I see why my coach didn't work out before before he trained us. <laughs> yeah. Now I see why. Yeah, you get so tired. All right, <laughs> well, have a great evening, and I'll see you guys Friday. Take care. Bye, Bye. take care, thank Bye. you. Later.